Hi everybody. So today I'm going to show you some of the basic tools about around Canva and how to build a website. So on your landing page, obviously you've got your projects, sorry, your productions there, whatever you've produced. Here, it's got a what you might want to try. Now, if it doesn't appear along here, go into this create design and just type website and it will bring up a website tool. But for these purposes, we're going to go with this. So as you can see, mine it takes a little while to load as there's lots in there. So it does take a few moments for it to load. It is what it is. So here we've got our website. OK, so our first page. So we're going to go down and have a look at what sort of things they've got on offer. So what should we choose today? Let's go with one that's a basic. OK, so we're going to go with a basic because you can do pretty much anything with it. So it's going to offer you all these options, eight pages. You can add pages, you can duplicate pages and you can take pages out. So we're going to add all eight pages. It's taken a few moments for it all to come. And as you can see, it's all loading. But very, very slowly. OK, so this is your front page. So this is what people are going to see first. So what I'm going to call this is test site to show how to build website. Okay. So I want that to be slightly smaller. So I'm going to bring that down a bit. And it says learn more here. So I don't really want to put that in there at the moment. Or do I? No, we'll, we'll, we'll put there a little about me okay so i'm going to make that smaller again so we've got our page here and we can call it web designs there we go we'll have web designs so this little about me, you can actually add a link. So it's going to ask you to enter a link or search, i.e. which page would you like to go to? Let me bring that up again. So I want it to go to page two. So I think it's doing it. Let me just preview it. Let me just check it's done it.
Oh, it's not going to because I haven't published it. So we want a catchy picture. So I'm just going to go to uploads. And we'll pop cream in there. I don't really want the white background. So I'm going to go to elements. Because you've got you've highlighted the outside in blue yeah so i'm going to go to elements and i'm going to put background i'll put beauty let's see what comes up That's quite nice. Okay, so you've got you've got quite a nice moving background. You could have a, a static one. You could have a picture of whatever you want there. To be fair, now right click on it, go down to set video as background, and there you go. Now click on your picture just so that it fits in nicely and edit photo if it will let me and if i click off it that's your front page of your website now obviously because you're building your website you're going to want it to be very specific to you I'm just showing you some of the tips and tricks. So I'm going to put a little about me and my journey. So here you would say what type of person you are. I'm an Avon rep and leader. Obviously, you're going to put an awful lot more blurb there. And then we go back to uploads. And I don't actually like these squares, so I'm going to take those out. I'm going to go back to all. And I want a frame, but I want a square frame. I just want one picture. One picture of little moi. So that everybody knows who they're working with and who they're dealing with. Okay, so let's go and get a little picture of moi. See if I've got one. There we go. That'll do. Right, I'm going to take the background off because it will just take the white off. There we go. And because I've had a pink background there, I want another pink background. Okay, so I'm going to put in elements pink background. Just so that it matches. Now, I don't want this one to be moving. So I'm just going to go with a basic and I'm going to replace the background again. OK. So. Some of the 
places you can shop with me or join my journey okay don't want it to go too far across so i'm going to make this slightly smaller obviously if you don't like the font you can change the font as well there we go so i'm gonna have go back to all and i want shop and i'm going to grab a little shop take that one out and that one okay so line it up with the top where the others are line it up with the bottom ones and then put shop with me and take that out now again you can actually add a link to this so you need to highlight the text and your link will come up so let me grab a link Doo -doo -doo. Sorry, I forgot to open this to show you. So, come back. So, I'm going to pull a link there I'm going to enter a link done now as you can see it's now underlined so it's there let me take that one out okay so next I want a brochure So I'm going to have a look down and see what pictures we've got of brochures. That'll do. For the purposes of today, that will do. Obviously, you can use a real picture of a brochure. You can use any graphic you wish. In there, I'm going to put a brochure. Obviously, do the link again. And then I want a VIP. we go that one will do so for instance this will be where a customer can be become one of your VIP customers say within a Facebook group or whatever or a broadcast list etc so my vip customer group 
and again put your link on to your customer group and then I don't know maybe you want to link them to your profile or all your other areas your Instagram it's your choice it's your your front page of where you take everybody so I'm going to put uh, what should we have here? So for this instance, we'll go with Instagram. So there's a basic on your links. Now I'm going to leave that one white. Get to know a little about some of our new products. So I'm going to go all the way to there and then I'm going to make that slightly smaller maybe not quite that small okay so I don't want that and I don't want that don't want that and I don't want that and I don't want that what I do want is one of these one of these here so what I would suggest for this is you can do as many as you want however many uh, however many you want so for this instance we're just going to do one product obviously you know which one I'm going to use oh, if I can find a picture add information on this product I'm going to move the alignment so it's there to get your hands on this today Sorry. Click to get yours. And then obviously highlight just that text and add a link directly to the product in your online store. So your customer can read about it, go, that sounds really great. I want one today. Okay, so what services can I offer? So what I'm going to do with this one is 
slightly strange but you'll get the gist i want uh elements So I'm going to go to these first. I'm going to put consultation beauty. No, it's not bringing up what I want. Let's have a look what comes up if I try this. See if we can find one that works. Okay, it's not coming up without this, so let's try. That will work. We'll have that one. I like that. Take that out, move that to the centre, skin care consultations online or offline. Click to book highlight that now it depends on how you do your skincare consultations if you're not sure and you only do it through your facebook with local people put your own word in but click to there i've got a, a form which i can lead them to take that off and then we've got fragrance we'll just have a picture whoops Fragrance consultation. Click. Yeah, to book. And then highlight that. I also have a form for that. But you can do it however you want to link it. And then we can have makeup. Let's grab that on. I'll put it here. I've lined it. Oh, I had lined it. Just need to bring that down a bit and this would be makeup color consultation click here to book Okay, so these are the services you're offering. So that's a benefit to your customer. They're going to get professional help because obviously as representatives, you'll have done your beauty advisor and you learn all of those skills. So we're going to have a pink background. So 
so let me see what we've got as pinks we have a slightly different pink i think still muted though we're going to set that as a background image client reviews so this could be client reviews you could have a picture of a particular product and a review or you could have client reviews on your services it could could be anything you wished. We'll leave those as they are, but you would fill them in as you preferred. If you don't like the shape, you can take the shape off because as you can see, it's separate to these. Now here it's actually put names and I would not name whoever has done the review. By all means, ask them before you use their reviews but it's nicer to stay anonymous okay again i'm going to have a background on there so i'm going to go with this one i'm going to set that as a background So we won't have that page. That looks quite boring. I'm not having that. So highlight it. And there's a little delete page here. Okay, we'd love to work with you. I would love you to come on this journey with me now I don't want it <clears throat> I don't want it overpowering so I want it to go slightly smaller there we go <clears throat> so then you've got your email your social channels which if you click on one of these and click here for more you can link to your Facebook there, you can link to Twitter there, you can link to, uh, I think that's Instagram. <clears throat> and if we go to all graphics, for instance, I've got a TikTok, so let's put TikTok there. looking to see if it's got a TikTok. TikTok logo. So icon. that the one I forgot what it looked like If I got it, I'll have to do. So you just make it really, really small to match the others. 
and link it there but you could add whatever you wish there's endless possibilities of what you can link there but whatever socials you've got here is a picture so let's go to my uploads take that one out draw a square around everything and you'll be able to move these across There we go. And that's my background. And we're done. Let's go for another pink. We'll go with the graphics. Replace background and it's just a splash of colour at the end. So this is your website. Obviously you take a lot more time over it. You think about what you want on your website. It could be any such manner of things. Let me just quickly, quickly publish website. I'm going to publish so it's preparing the design It will give you a link here that you can copy and share. Now we're going to preview it. So this is pretty much how it's going to look. Client reviews. And there you go. So, just so that you can see it in real time. I'm going to, I've opened it on a new tab and this is how it will look. So, it gives you an idea on your sizings. You can make them quite small and they'll still be viewable. services client reviews and there we go and there's your website ready for you to work your own magic etc hope you enjoyed